you've heard about 32-bit computer systems and 64-bit computer systems, right? Now, did you think that a 64-bit computer system was twice as good as the 32-bit? Okay, let's start with the basics. Computers work in binary language, which means they think in zeros and ones. In other words, if they're going to read or write something, they're going to be thinking about that as a zero and one language. In the same way that you think of 26 letters in the English alphabet if you speak English. Now, if you think about a 2-bit system, then everything that we have to represent in the computer has to be represented in just two pieces of information, 0 and 1. So let's write something down that we could do in a 2-bit system. In a 2-bit system, we could have 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, or 1, 1. Essentially, we have four options for a 2-bit system. This is pretty easy to see because we have two positions and each position can be a 0 or a 1. So our answer, 4, is just 2 squared. Let's compare that to the idea of a 3-bit system. In a 3-bit system, you have three positions, and each position can have a 0 or a 1. So in a 3-bit system, you can have two options for the first, then two for the second, then two for the third. And that gives you 2 to the power 3, which equals 8 options. Now what I'm going to assume in this video is that when we compare two types of systems, we'll just describe how good one is or how much better one is just based on how many more different 0-1 sequences it could handle. So the 3-bit system can handle 8 and the 2-bit system can handle 4. So in this case, I would say that it's twice as good. The 3-bit system is twice as good because it handles twice as much stuff. Let's check out the 4-bit system. In a 4-bit system, we're allowed to use 4 bits, and each bit can be a 0 or a 1. So we again have 2 to the power of 4 this time, which is 16 options. Now let's compare the 4-bit system and the 2-bit system. We can see that the 4-bit system has 16 options, whereas the 2-bit system had only 4. So if we were comparing the 2-bit and the 4-bit, we would say that this one is 4 times better. I think we're ready to compare 32 and 64 next. 32-bit systems. We're allowed to use up 32 bits, and each bit is a 0 or a 1. So like we've seen with these small examples, we could have 2 to the power of 32 different possible 0, 1 sequences. Let's think about the 64-bit system. In a 64-bit system, we're going to have 2 to the power of 64 different possibilities. Now let's compare these. Just as in the case of the 4-bit and the 2-bit system, when we compared, we said, okay, let's take a look at 2 to the power of 4 divided by 2 to the power of 2. And when the base is the same, you can just subtract the exponents, and we said, ah, oh, great, it's 4 times as good because 2 to the power of 2 is 4. Now, for this example, we have 2 to the power of 64, and we want to know the ratio of that and 2 to the power of 32. Let's look at it. So let's take a look. 2 to the power of 64 divided by 2 to the power of 32. It might be tempting to think that you can just say that this is twice as good as this, but you have to remember that you're dealing with exponents. Every time you increase by one bit, you are doubling the potential. So look at the difference between 2 and 3, we doubled the potential. From 3 to 4, we doubled again. So what that means is if you had a 32-bit system and you went to a 33-bit system, you would have doubled. When you go to a 34, you double again, and you keep on doubling, and you double 32 times by the time you get to a 64-bit system. So what do you end up with? That the 64-bit system is actually 2 to the power of 32 times better. So that works out to be roughly 4.29 times 10 to the 9 times better, and that is a really big number. 
Just imagine if your computer didn't work in binary, but worked in a ternary system, so that every bit could be a zero, a one, or a two. Let's see what would happen. In just a three-bit system, you would no longer have two, two, and two options, you'd have three, three, and three options. So instead of two to the power of three equals eight, you would have three to the power of three, which is in fact 27. So you have a massive increase if you were able to work in a ternary system. And if you were working in a ternary system, then the comparison between a 32-bit computer and a 64-bit computer would work out to be 3 to the power of 32. Even more amazing. And this is basically what they're working on in quantum computers. Pretty cool. In combinatorics, we're often enumerating how many sets there are or sequences there are of a certain type. So this is one example of something which is really practical in everyday life. What we now need to do is to prove that SK plus 1 is true. If you liked this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe.